Where are we? We're at Queen's Park. Why? So look at this bench. This is the Netflix Afterlife Ricky Gervais bench. Because why? I liked Afterlife. Yeah, because they donated benches, didn't they? Oh, yeah. To help people with loneliness. Shall we go now? No. We've <laughs> <laughs> been here two minutes. Would you like to narrate? Hope it says is. hope. Hope is everything. What do you think about that phrase? I don't really understand it. I don't really understand it. Hope is everything. I think if you don't have hope, then, you know, what have you got? Basically, anyone can have hope. Mm. I think that's what they mean. Hope is universal. Hmm. Well, God, whether you have it or not, that's another thing. Do you have hope? Mm. Depending on what situation. Do you have hope that the world is going to turn out? Let's not get into that. <laughs> <laughs> Pre-8am and I'm walking. Spring is here. I slept over nine hours last night. I think it was close to ten. Because I went to bed at like nine. I don't know why I'm whispering. I'm so out of breath. I'm so unfit. Right. <laughs> Lauren's doing a sneaky beer into water bottle Ugh. job. It'll be. <laughs> Run! Still together then. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we? Somewhere near Birmingham. I think. Yeah, we've just been at M's house for the weekend, um, and now we're heading off to Wales. So, thought we'd do a little. We, I actually remember my camera for once, and this might not even be shown. You may never see this. I was gonna say, because... like you're recording, then it will stay on your memory card for forever. So we're gonna. Um... <laughs> When we finally find ourselves out of this maze, um, we're going to be heading to a Wales. Sorry for a little bit, Wales. And uh, yeah, oh my God, it's that wet. I thought it was going to be in and out. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> Driving from um, on this trip. Continue. Yeah, we're driving on. <laughs> we're driving from Birmingham, Birmingham to uh, Wales, 
and we were looking at cars. I was complaining about one car being too slow and another car being really sexy and I missed the turning because my sat nav is like down there and it doesn't have the volume on so of course I missed the turning and now we've added 20 minutes onto our journey we're headed to Gloucester which is not the destination we're actually going through Gloucester look ah. and yeah basically it's all gone wrong but no, it's fine. We're playing a game. Do you want to tell them our, uh, our game that we play in cars? I don't, I don't know what it's called. To be well, you can turn it around and explain if you'd like it to. I don't know. No. Oh, it's 50 here. Okay, so we play a game where, well, there's a few. Alphabet game, which is where A, you do A, and the next person does B, the next person does C. We're doing like places in North America. That's, wait, wait, where am I going? Just get in that lane. Okay. Um, A40. For there? Yeah, next. Yeah, basically. X, Y, and Z are really hard. I didn't start recording. What? None of it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to being in your car. I never break that lane. Yes, you do. Oh my god, you do. We're literally going through Gloucester. I've been here before. Brilliant. What? Good morning. Welcome. What a lovely day. starving um someone forgot to bring the camera last night to dinner meaning me um yeah i thought it was in the car and i already taken it in because she didn't want to just leave it in the car obviously um so we went for a lovely meal because the local pub to us everything obviously because we're from london you assume everything's going to be open all times of the day obviously i don't assume that here but the fact that the pub near us didn't serve past five we were like oh my god we're gonna starve all this all the shops were shut we did find one pub and we had these garlic dough balls filled with mozzarella that was so good weren't they they were amazing so i'm thinking about them now i'm like Can we go there for breakfast dough balls please but and then i had a burger you had a roast would you like to give the results of your roast uh, yeah it was lovely did you say it was a bit overcooked? Oh yeah, well, everything was burnt, but I was very hungry. <laughs> I was really, really hungry. It was terrible, but I was famished. I was um, famished. Yeah, it, those potatoes looked worse for wear. Um, they were really lovely on the inside. Were they? Okay. Yeah. Same. <laughs> um, wait, where, down there? Yeah. They love a double, they love a double roundabout in Wales, don't they? Um, no shade, obviously. What? No shade, obviously. <laughs> I can only think of two double roundabouts I know in London. Have you ever been to the Magic Roundabout? In Hemel? What, drugs? No, in Hemel. Magic oh. Roundabout. Oh, because I thought you meant because the cartoons written about drugs. So what, where are we going what's now? What's roundabout about then? This one roundabout with five roundabouts on it. Ooh. Should we go there one day? You saw him, right? So now we're going to Tesco because we're hungry and we need some, some... Munchbox. We need some supplies because we have nothing. Uh, I have nothing. Come on, sing. No, it's just so early. It's not, it's ten past seven. Some, ten past, seven past ten. Going now. We are off to a bridge. I can't remember what it's called. What's it called? Dead Man's Bridge? Wise Man's Bridge. Wise Man's Bridge. And 
hopefully it's meant to be quite good for sea glass. We haven't checked the tides, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, so we went to Swansea, Br Swansea Beach yesterday, it was lovely. Um, and yeah, off to the beach again today. Had a lovely little, went shopping this morning, went to Tesco and used one of those club card scanner things for the first time. I've never used one before. Very exciting, learning all new things. Um, just saw the sign to National Botanical Gardens, but apparently we're not allowed to go there because we're going to the beach. And yeah, having a lovely day. What is your update? Oh, you haven't got the thing open properly. Um, no update really. Sorry. <laughs> wow. Oh, <laughs> dirty windscreen. It's not dirty. I cleaned it just now. Yeah. Okay, that's filthy. Look, it's all about ages. Oh, these are gorgeous. Look at that garden. Oh, for sale. Oh, my God. Oh, baby, I love it. Lauren's just pointed out mm, that we've been to this lovely beach for the last few hours and I haven't filmed a thing. <laughs> <laughs> we even went in the sea. I'll put some pictures up for you so you can see them. That will happen now. So we've walked up, let me get in without this bit. We're at the caves, the Brecon Beacon caves, which I haven't filmed any of, but I'll put some pictures in. Um, this, this camera just does not do it justice, but oh, we're so high up. Hi. <laughs> oh goodness. hills you can't see how high you can't see how steep it is I mean we've literally come from this gate but we're going down to see a waterfall that I can't pronounce can you pronounce it we'll put the word here uh, we've just been at the caves which we didn't which we didn't vlog excellent and uh, yeah someone forgot her walking boots 
no. Ironically, Lauren messaged me. Wait, let me show my face. Hi. Lauren messaged me like, oh, I don't know what to bring. What should I bring? And the first thing I told her to bring was walking boots. And I forgot mine. Right, I probably shouldn't vlog whilst we're on this sheer cliff. Huh? I can hear it. Can you hear it? I can feel it. Can you feel it? Oh, God. It's incredible, we're getting soaking wet with the spray. What are your thoughts? Thank you. Low battery. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, luckily for everyone involved, I bought my second battery. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Ominous. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Oh, hello. Bang. that you might never see. Um, where are we? What would Nicki Minaj say? I don't know what this reference is. Let's go to the beach, each. Let's get away. Away, oh, say, right. what are you going to say? Okay, yeah. We're at the beach. Basically. And I realised that I said I was going to show you what Wales was like and you didn't see any of it, so sorry. Um, I cut my hair off, didn't I? It's much more manageable now and I actually want to brush it, so that makes me feel better as a human. And let me show you the view, it's lovely. So we've got boats out there. We came here specifically to find sea glass and possibly fossils because we just love it. So, oh, <laughs> does this count? It's actual glass. Oh. Okay, well let's bury that just in case someone hurts themselves. Okay, the search is on. Oh, okay, so this beach is, beach is filthy. Um, we've got a little friend looking at us. Hi. Oh, he's cute. We found a secret cut through, so we think we found it on the beach. Even all the panting. <laughs> okay. Oh, that riz. We've just been scrumping. Oh my god, ow. Oh. Okay, this looks good. Lovely, hello madam, what's your opinion? It's lovely, quiet.
Good morning, welcome to present day. Well, it's present day for me. <laughs> no, that means nothing on this channel, as you know. I washed my hair this morning. <clears throat> I washed my hair this morning. So I've got a towel under here. So it's definitely a look. Um, oh yeah, I haven't been in my car for two days because I've been poorly. Well, I had a bit of a weird throat and a bit of a snotty nose, so I stayed away from my parents. Because they're going away on Monday and I really need to just actually drive to work rather than just sitting here talking to you, so. Oh, my battery's low, excellent. <laughs> I realised that because all I've basically filmed over the last year has been me being on holiday, which has been really a very, very small proportion of it, but it just looks like that's all I do because when I'm working, I literally just sit and you make sure I'm not gonna show any, um, wait, I literally stare at these two screens for eight hours a day. So what's the point of filming me working? I'm talking to myself here, basically. <laughs> this is a jet between me, myself and I. <laughs> Good morning, basically. Hi. The hat's back. It's getting cold again. And this is Lauren's jumper, which I stole. <laughs> so, no, I shouldn't bite that, because then you're just going to have to watch me eating. And that's not what you're here for. I have always been a fan. Like My, my favourite brand of apple has always been Braeburn. I know, controversial. I'm saying it, Braeburn. But this here is a jazz apple and I'm not gonna lie it's very nice it's also cold out the fridge which is the best way to eat apples in my opinion obviously you're here for hot off the press news and here we have it jazz apples better than I once thought <laughs> Hi. Hello. Your garden looks lovely. Thanks. I often get people say, oh, we want to see more of your mum's garden. Oh. What's one of your favourite things in the garden at the moment? Oh, definitely this bush. It's only just gone red, hasn't it? Mm, yeah. Within the last two weeks? Yeah, it's green all year and it's got really unusual. I'll come round. I'll try not to show your pants on the line. Yeah. It's got really unusual bark. Wait. Oh yeah, it's like st mm. stripped. Okay. Yeah, it's lovely. Um, so that is, and the canna lilies. Okay. Beautiful colour. Lovely. What's <laughs> what's this you're standing on? Yeah, this is what I stand on to reach my washing line. <laughs> and also it's really great when it's muddy, so I don't get muddy. Who made it for you? Uh, Lauren's dad. And then in the winter I have a plank here. And I have to walk the plank so you have I don't, a plank. don't get muddy and then, <laughs> and then put, do the, put the washing on the line. You've got a new rose garden. Yes. How many, because mum is very like me and she likes to get fixated about things. How many roses do you have in your garden? Well, I've got around 48 because we've got <laughs> to count two in there. Which we've had, uh, it's called Wedding Day and it flowers white all through there. But this is the rose garden. Actually, it'd be not, not nicer, Lauren, if you filmed this in the sun. Yes, I know it would, but... Um, but if you... Basically, it comes down to here. This is all new. Lovely. And they're all scented roses, so we've got about 48 in all, including the two up there. But you didn't make a spreadsheet, did you, for your roses? Yes. <laughs> 
Yes, you need it, Lauren. You, really you just need, need a roses spreadsheet in your life. But I'm going to point out one of the loveliest roses because it gets a very bad press. It's this one. Wait, wait. It's this one. And it's called Jude the Obscure. Jude the Obscure? Yeah, and okay, we've had some very cold winds and it's affected the, the buds, but it's so scented, but it's not the easiest of roses. You can see it's got a bit of black spot. So what? <laughs> it's just so scented. Just Amazing. live my life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lovely. I'll show them it in summer. If I actually make what another video in again. In in sunshine. Me. Oh, now we have the... Koala cat. <laughs> and there's Gussie around there, look. <laughs> <laughs> um. Lovely. Hmm. Do you regret putting in those cypress trees? No. no. Did you think they'd get that big? No, they did, I didn't think they would grow as fast as they did, so um, yeah, that was a little bit of a shock, but they're beautiful trees. At the top, the one on the right, mm. where it comes in and then comes up like that, that's the squirrels. Yeah. They got up there and had a party, and they <laughs> ate all around, and we were sitting here, so what on earth has happened? And they're nesting in there. He's being weird in the garden. Oh yeah, you don't want to film that. Uh, is he going to the toilet in there? No, no, oh no. To do that. We're not in the rose garden. Well, have a look at this. Sad okay, let's move your pants away. <laughs> this. Oh, you're having your hair cut tomorrow, aren't you? Oh yeah. Oh, is that why you're filming? No, me? because it I just so no awful. because you moved to the side. It was like a square. <laughs> it looks like a cube. I well, I've been, I've been gardening. No, I'm not. With I'm the just saying. On. It looks like a cube. I've been gardening with the hat cuboid on, and head. You just dragged me out in the garden. I don't get any chance. To do that, <laughs> it's not my fault. The fans want to see you, not me. Jeff made this, and this is he's trying to make a, a squirrel-proof bird feeder. So this is metal. This is just mm -hmm. a prototype. Everything's lift off. You've got lift off. Things. Just a prototype. Yeah. This is for the blackbird. Why? Because um, apparently they want their own hole. Jeff said it's bigger. I'm not sure. Doesn't look bigger. Um, but the squirrel hasn't realised that round this side we've got plastic. So the squirrel has been busy nibbling the wood and the metal. Ah. Oh. Yeah, so um, we're waiting for him to So how many birds have we had in here so far? None, because they've only been up <laughs> a few days and they, it scared them because, you know, it's something different. But yeah. Sorry, the planes are going over. And we're not sure if it's its final place because hanging here it moves. Mm. Thanks. Sphinxy. <laughs> oh, Gussie's around there. Where are we going now? This way. Let's tread over the lab. Oh, the I was just going to tread right in it. Okay. This is my greenhouse. And every, oh. <laughs> every year we save the seeds. <laughs> this has gone mad. Every year I save the seeds on kitchen paper of tomatoes I like the flavour of. We, we, we have to do taste tests. Taste tests. And Tomato then, taste um, test. And then we grow them. Dry them out over winter on the, on the same bit of kitchen paper. I write Don't what use they two. Are. Can't use two bits of kitchen paper. Um, but this one has just gone completely mad. And because it's the end of the season, we've, we've let it carry on. But I'll go in. Bring it in, Lauren. <laughs> Oh my god! Yeah, so this is a really. Bearing in mind, look, this is the size of my hand. This is an unusual tomato. Oh, wait, oh! Yeah. Because it, as you can see, it's orange and they're really sweet, it's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we've got some small plum ones here. Um, and But this most sweet. Wait, let me just show my. <laughs> trying to get the shot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I tap some? <laughs> um, we've got a variety. Are you still filming? Yeah. Which which one's your favourite? My favourite is the tiny. Um, I can't really see one. The tiny little red. Here it is. If you just yeah, it's this one. It's this one. Okay. It's really small. They are so sweet. Mm. So sweet. Yeah, that's my favourite for the flavour. Okay. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Don't tread on the lavender. So how many times this year have you worn your lilac jumper because you know you're going to get asked about it? Zero. I've got it in a bag and I'm just waiting to wear it for a special occasion. Okay. 
So uh, when Lauren films me, I'm going to wear it. With your new haircut tomorrow? With my, yeah, with my new haircut, because this, this year in England, this summer in England, it's been so hot that it hasn't really been jumper weather, although no. that, that jumper is lovely because it's cotton. Um, True. Yeah, so I'm going to get it out. It's, it's a, I'll probably wear it tomorrow when I get my hair done. But you've just done a massive um, clear out of your wardrobe, haven't you? I'm in the process of doing it. Yeah, that's been really emotional, actually. Um, because I've just left it and left it and left it. And there's so many things from when I was slimmer and all that jazz. Uh, and things that I'd forgotten about. Yeah, you know? loads of stuff. You're like, oh! I wondered where that had gone. You know, <laughs> a type of line. Um, so, yeah, getting, getting that all sorted out, which is good. Yeah, Lauren's been amazing help. Yeah, organising me and saying what jo ne job to do next. <laughs> it, I found it really overwhelming. There was so much stuff. Yeah. Really overwhelming. You can see the red in your hair. Mm. Yeah, that looks a really nice colour in the sun. I feel like it's too boring. No! I want to put something else in it. Oh, Lauren. <laughs> it's not too boring. It's really nice. Um... What was I going to say? Yeah, no, because you just you just needed a bit of help, didn't you, with your wardrobe? Because we all have that, don't we? We have so much, so many clothes that don't fit us, mm. clothes that we'll wear one day, one day, one day. Yeah. Well, oh, can I just give a tip? Today is the day, people. I, I, I would one like give. A you got to say it again. I would. Oh wait, like no, you have to. <laughs> She's so annoying. <laughs> I would like to give a tip um, to anyone. Don't buy clothes that are too small in the hope that you will lose weight and get into them because it just makes you feel really bad when you've got this brand new thing. Well, I, it makes me feel really bad. Brand new thing, never wore it, and I should never have bought it because it was too small. Mm -mm. And the woman in the shop said, well, maybe, it'll, you know, if you want to lose weight, it will make you, you know, spur you on. And uh, really, that's not what buying stuff is all about. So no. that's, that's not... Buy it so that it fits you and you look good and you feel good in it. There you go. Yeah. Mum's tip of the day. Yeah. This oh, is, yeah. This is one of my favourite. It's actually... Oh. This is a pelagonium, which is in the geranium family. And it's just one of my favourites. And it, when it starts coming out, I feel on a bit of a high. I love it that much. What colour do you call this? Well, I call it rust. And I know it's not rust, but it's got that sort it's not of... Rust. Um, it's red. I don't call it red at all, and I hope it's not coming out completely red. But I'm going to edit the colours. So black, yeah, you, you will. But, no. but you hate this one over here, and this one's my favourite. Oh god! It's just yes, it just doesn't go in this garden with the colours that we've got. That's all. It's lovely. This one, I went to B and Q, and there were two um, leaves. One was this one, and one was this one, and I bought them home the because floor. they were on the floor. Yes. I bought them home and just put them on on top of soil, and now we have this massive, massive plant, which is just amazing. So if you ever see leaves that are not attached to plants, <coughs> pardon me, <laughs> take them home and you can make new plants, free plants. Also, I did not give you that advice. You did not hear that here. Hello dear. Hello. Welcome to present day video. Oh God, We've seen a lot of past you. Yeah. It's very cold now. It's very cold. It was warm and it's gone cold very quickly. Have you got anyone to introduce to me? There's Toby there. Oh! Toby! Aren't you the most gorgeous boy? Please tell me about Toby. Tell the viewers. He's a one year old cat. And you adopted him. And I adopted him. Yeah, when? Like two weeks ago or something. Yeah. He was um, <laughs> a he friend of a friend. Friend of a friend's friend. Oh, was it a friend of a friend's friend? Okay, yeah, friend of a friend's friend. Oh, cut hair we were. And yeah, he's just a grey cat. He's not just... He's lovely. Though. If Marks and Spencer's made cats... <laughs> I'd say that was the worst joke ever. Oh, what are you, Topes? 
Because he's so delicious. He's so delicious. No, he is pretty good quality. <laughs> <laughs> Got your money's worth. No, he is a nebulung. Aren't you? And he's just gorgeous. He is mostly tail, but you can't see. There you go. There it is. Oh, there. No, sorry. <laughs> You're just like, what's happening? Can we watch maths now? Yeah. Married at First Sight UK? Yes. We can. Oh, if you want to follow Toby on Instagram, it's majestic.toby at instagram.com. I don't think it's not easy. <laughs> <laughs> he hates me. <laughs> It's off putting, isn't it? Where are we off to today, Lauren? Why do I look like a monk? Um, we are off to aqua aerobics together. <laughs> that should be fun. Will it? Probably not. <laughs> yeah, have some wispy music on there. Because <laughs> it was over there and we're here. Also, if we say, oh, look at that, it's down the middle of the night. It's eight o'clock. <laughs> and But it's so dark now. It is so dark. Um, we've just finished aqua aerobics. Yep. Oh, that's a lovely red hue on my face. Hello. How was it for you? I, um, I enjoyed it. Um... Yeah, it's interesting because, so I feel like I need to be sat down giving a whole, like give your review and then I'll give mine afterwards because I can't do two things at once if you feel well known. It was the best one I've been to. But then you've only done it in that small pool because with the big pool, because I'm a bit of a nutter in these classes as you could imagine, I like to splash a lot and I like to put loads of effort in and I feel like, I feel like I was on my best behaviour because mm. it wasn't a big pool. And if I splashed, I would have made a real like scene. But you don't need to do that. You clearly didn't need to do that because you were worn out at the end, so. Was I? Well, your face looked like it was. Oh, I... Just some like, slate in the... An unhealthy well, shade of red. I'm glad you're not coming to us. No, I'm not, so... you asked me for my opinion. That's my honest opinion. So. Do you not want my opinion? No. Excellent. You've just well, said not what? saying no, as in no, I don't want your opinion. No, as in no, of course I want your opinion. Okay, so yes. Bang. <laughs> For fuck's sake. It was recording you, not me, so. Um, Womp. I liked it. You don't have to like it, eh? No, I did like it. I liked the use of the weights because that was really making me out of breath because you don't need to do much with those. I just meant like with the kicks, like, you know, the kick back and forth. Yeah. I'd normally like be like a massive seesaw. Right. Whereas I was playing it cool, but then equally, I probably, I just probably wouldn't have needed to kick it like that because everything else worked its way to be a great workout. And I really like doing it with you, seeing your little face. Oh. Mm. For the flirtatious smiles. A bright smile for every moment. <laughs>